So I just got this new laser level from Milwaukee. It's a little M12. It's a three plane. It looks like a nice level. I'm sure it works fine, but I'm gonna check it just to make sure. Um, and the way I'm gonna do that is with a really old method, thousands of years old actually. Um, it's a water level. So I have a hose. I went and bought a 20 foot hose. Um, filled it with water. And you wanna make sure that there's absolutely no air gaps because that'll give an inaccurate reading. Uh, I used to do, I used to use these when I would install water line tile on pools and uh, it works perfect. It's never wrong, trustworthy. So it's a really great method. And I, d I only use it now to check all of my leveling systems. So that's what I wanna show you guys. So you filled it with water, there's no air gaps. There's a little bubble right there, that'll be okay. It won't give an inaccurate. You're, you don't want a big air gap, like an inch, two inches of, of no water. I use food coloring. I just drop a little in there. Uh, open it. Just so you can see it. Just like that. Now you can see it's literally perfect. I can move it. It'll just level itself out. Doesn't matter. And you can put your finger at the top of one of them and it'll slow it down from doing that bouncing. So I cut these on an angle. I don't know if you can see that. That way I can get a screw in there. So I'll just get one side in and then, so I bought a 20 foot hose. You could buy a 50, 60, 100, doesn't matter. It's perfect every time. So I got one side screwed in. Get this other side screwed in here. Okay, so when you're doing this, and you can have it dangling like this. To get real accurate though, I think it needs to be perfectly. You can see there's a difference. So I'm just using a little conduit hanger to keep it nice and level for the video. Pardon the uh, mold all over my drywall here. We got some rain here in Arizona. But I just use this whole area for videos. Okay, so that mark right there. And that mark is perfectly level. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the... I'm going to set the laser up. And we're going to check it. So this is the level. I'm just going to attach it to my tripod. And when you're messing with these, you want to make sure that you have the laser off and not on you don't want to mess up any of these internals and that's another thing doing this you buy a laser let's say it falls over or whatever you drop it something happens now you're concerned is it is it still accurate get your water level out and check it okay so that's set up get that battery in there okay now so this is on. I'm still figuring this thing out. Okay. All right, so. So 
But right now we need to lower it. I'm just gonna try to get that laser on one point. Right now, the water's right on that laser. So now we're just gonna come over to the other side and check it. It's a little bit lower over here. So let's come back over here and check this side again. So it's actually a little bit lower. So it's, it's spot on. And if I was doing it, really checking it, I would have had a longer hose to check it at, you know, a 40, 60 foot span, but as far as I'm concerned, it's perfect. I, I basically believe the laser now. So anyway, guys, that this is a great way to check lasers and levels. Water doesn't lie, gravity doesn't lie. And then you can just drain it out or you can cap it, keep it on the job site. And another thing, if a self-leveling laser isn't in your budget, this hose cost me $13 and food dye. I don't know how much that costs. I found it in my pantry, but I'm sure it's not more than a few bucks. So a $600 or $650 laser compared to probably $17. And this is never wrong. Flawless every single time. I do like the lasers. It makes everything real convenient, fast. So, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how water level works. Thanks for watching.